Hello, my name is Rishi Nalam, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a YOLO object detection program. So in order to do this, first we need to import the following modules, which is basically import OpenCV as well as import uh, YOLO, from which is from Ultralytics. So import YOLO. Now following that, all we need to do is that we need to import the YOLO uh, model, which is YOLO.VN.PT. So this basically loads the lightweight YOLO V8N model, which is a nano version of for the real-time performance. YOLO stands for You Only Look Once, which is a fast object detection algorithm used to identify multiple objects in images or video frames. Now following that, we're going to be creating a function that takes a video frame and runs it through a pre-trained YOLO V8 object detection model. So in order to do that, all we need to do is that we need to create a function called detect objects and here we're just going to take in our frames. So I'm going to be copy pasting our code over here to, uh, to save time and you can find it the code in the description below. So basically what this program does over here is that it filters out low confidence predictions and draws bounding boxes around the recognized objects within their class labels. And this model basically returns a modified frame with visuals and a list of detected objects, uh, ob object names which are helpful for identifying what's currently in the camera's view. Now following that we're going to be creating the hardware program which is our main function. And within the main function it is actually pretty simple. So we're just going to use our OpenAI features to initialize our, to take a like open our web webcam and train our YOLO model. So in this program, it basically activates the webcam and continuously reads frames. So for each frame, it performs object detection and displays the result in a window tiled AI vision. And this is an interactive loop which bridges this computer vision. And finally, in order to actually make our program run, we just need to run our main function. So now let's test our program. So when we run our program, as you can see over here, it just creates a box over here which names it as person. And then also, this, uh, without even needing to train this object detection model, it can also identify things like mouses. I think I might need to get out of frame for this one. I, yeah, it still identifies me, but it is able to detect other objects like mouses as well as our keyboard itself. So here it's able to detect the keyboard and it's also able to detect other stuff like uh, like keyboards, mouses, as well as uh, and other types of devices. You can check more on what types of objects it detects on the YOLO GitHub page. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.